has ever made. So O'Hara, she's a forerunner of the modern businesswoman. So the movie is simultaneously about the past and yet about the present. All I ask is that you keep the mill running and deliver my lumber when I want it. It's all over the wall. It's not possible. Why did we ever fight? A primary theme of Gone with the Wind, as announced in the text shown on screen in the main title, is the destruction of a civilization. And I believe that that is something that will always be profoundly distressing to people to contemplate. Take a good look, my dear. It's a historic moment. You can tell your grandchildren how you watched the Old South disappear one night. And there's a lesson in that. It's a lesson of war. It's about war. It's about what Rhett Butler predicts and what Ashley himself agrees with, that every war starts out with high ideals and then ends up in the gutter. The cause. The cause of living in the past is dying right in front of us. I never heard you talk like that before. I'm angry. Waste always makes me angry, and that's what all this is, sheer waste. There is that. You know what you're talking about. You don't have to say anything more about it. It is a magnificent example of the convention of the lady in 19th century culture. Scarlett O'Hara is constrained by this role of the lady that she must be as the daughter of an affluent white plantation family. And she doesn't want to fit into it. Why does the girl have to be so silly to get her husband? So she feels to us almost feminist in her defiance of the code which even her mammy has to teach her. Miss Scarlett? Why well, just go around staring people in that thing? You ain't supposed to be around people using in mourning. For what? I don't feel anything. Why should I have to pretend and pretend? People view Gone with the Wind in different ways. For President Carter and his wife, for example, the heroine of the movie was actually Melanie Wilkes, the self-sacrificing and a Christian wife. For most young people, for most residents of the North, Scout O'Hara seems to be the central character, and yet she's a very flawed heroine. She's in the main line of Becky Sharp and Thackeray's Vanity Fair. She's a conniver, she's shrewd, she's a strategist. But Scarlett, you're doing business with the same people who robbed us and tortured us and, and left us to starve. All that's past, Mary, and I intend to make the best of things, even if they are Yankee things. The Civil War, has never really gone away for descendants of those who fought in the Civil War. It is part of their legacy. It was a long national nightmare that we are still dealing with in some way. The horrors of slavery must be confronted. Gone with the Wind is not the best vehicle for dealing with it because it is certainly not honest about the actual feelings of slaves of that era. It's must come. It's it does take the position of the plantation hierarchy who had won a life of luxury that they imagined as a recreation of medieval chivalry uh, on the backs of slave labor. So there is something in, in that, okay, that has to be dealt with spiritually, perhaps, by, by America. My heart is too full to tell you just how I feel. And may I say thank you and God bless you. Ken McDaniel's role as a slave has unfortunately overshadowed the brilliance of this relationship that she has with Scarlett O'Hara. Savannah would be better for you. You just get in trouble in Atlanta. What trouble are you talking about? You know what trouble I was talking about. I was talking about Mr. Ashley Wilkes. He'll be coming to Atlanta when he gets his leave, and you sit now waiting for him just like a spider. He belongs to Miss Melanie. You go pack my things like Mother said. It is the most passionate relationship of the film, almost equivalent to that of Scarlett O'Hara and Ashley Wilkes and Scarlett and Rhett Butler. Mammy. Mammy. Honey. Oh, oh. Honey, Mammy is Scarlett's true mother. It is Mammy to whom Scarlett goes for advice. It is Mammy who sees deeply into Scarlett's emotions, who knows everything that's going on with her. Don't spoil it, Miss Scarlett. Turn me loose, you fool. Turn me loose. It's Ash. He's her husband, ain't he? Whereas Scarlett's biological mother doesn't understand the emotional turmoil of her daughter. This is an incredible performance, very inflected, that, un that unfortunately is never getting discussed these days because of the sensitivity that we should properly feel. You done had a baby, Miss Scarlett, and you ain't never gonna be no 18 and a half inches again, never. And ain't nothing to do about it.